YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about shift hole framing system. So, as we discuss, the bottom shell may be transversely or longitudinally framed, and longitudinally fra framing should be preferred above shift ha having length above 120 meter. Essentially supported by frames which run vertically from tank margin to upper deck. These frames will form bulb plates. So, bottom shell may be transversely or longitudinally framed and longitudinally frames can be seen in vessel have, have a length above 120 meter and essentially supported by frames which run vertically from tank margin to upper deck these frames are in the form of bulb plates so a ship is subject to tremendous stress while at sea we all know that so this requires special sensory member to ship plating because ship plating of uh, ship shell plating of the ship itself cannot is not strong to withstand these all stresses that are happening so we have to do some stiffening members so let's see what are they so we are understand that ship is subject to tremendous stress while at sea and it with the it need, so the shell plating needs some special strengthening members because shell plating is not that much strong enough to withstand all these stress so main stiffening members used in shell framing are beam a beam it is a structural element it will increase the load bearing capability and avoids bending of structure under deck runs transversely and frame on side shell plating it's run vertically up and down and floats means on the, mainly on the double bottom so beam means it is a structural element it will increase the load bearing capability and it will avoid bending of the structure and under deck transversely and frame means it is on the on the side plating it will run vertically up and down and floors means it will on the double bottom and stringers stringers are on the side plating and longitudinal bulkheads it will run horizontally fore and aft so stringers means it is there on the side plating and of the longitudinal bulkhead moving fore and aft and longitudinal means it is short name of longitudinal stiffness they are L shaped frames mostly seen on the uh, under deck side plating longitudinal bulkhead bottom plating under the tank top so, stringers means on side plating and longitudinal bulkheads, they run horizontally fore and aft. Longitudinal means it is a short name of longitudinal stiffener, mainly L shaped frames. Uh, they are mainly seen on the under deck, side plating, longitudinal bulkhead, bottom plating, under tank top. And transverse is a short name of transverse stiffness. They are found under the deck called deck transverse and bottom known as bottom, uh, bottom transverse. And they will run transversely but much heavier in construction than beams. Transverse means transverse is a short name of transverse stiffness. Transfers found under the deck is known as deck transfers and bottom plates known as bottom transfers. They have written transversely but much heavier in construction than beams. Then these are the stiffening and support members. For shell, we can see there are frames and vertical and horizontal vertical frames, uh, vertical shell and uh, vertical for frames and horizontal for longitudinal. And supports are stringers and uh, web frames. And for bulkheads, horizontal stiffening and vertical stiffening are the stringers, horizontal and web frames. A deck, deck beam or longitudinal, the support is deck grid or deep deep beam flat bottom means the stiffening members are bottom longitudinal they fore and aft and bottom frames for transverse their supports are floor and keel cells same for tank top upper frames fore and aft upper frames in the transverse so upper frames fore and aft direction will be floors and the transverse will be keel cells so these are the planes stiffening and support there are three type of hull framing system transverse hull framing system longitudinal hull framing system and a combined or mixer or hybrid type of framing frame system three types of framing system transverse framing system longitudinal framing system Combined or mixer frame system, or we can say hybrid frame system. For transfer frame system, this type of frame system is used in vessel relatively less length, so less than 120 meter. And frame system consists of essentially of a ring strengthening around the shell plating. Under deck beams are fitted at every frame space. So transfer frame system, these are vessel relatively less in length used in less vessels. So very uh, vessels under 120 meter at all, very small vessel. Then frame system consists of essentially of a ring strengthening around the shell plating and under deck beams fitted at every frame space. On side plating are fitted uh, stiffened to shell plating. So on side plating there are fitted, these are fitted to stiffen the shell plating. So transverse. And deck beams are connected to the frame on the side shell by means of beam knees. And beam knees are very efficient connections as compared to the bottom directly to the frame. So and bottom structure is already discussed. The, so deck beams means here they, they are connected to the side frames by using beam knees. Beam knees are very efficient connection as compared to the joinings. So because here the beam directly connected to the frame. And water structure we have discussed in the last previous video. So we can, if you want, we need to scroll on that. Here we can see transverse frame system. Transverse frame system, here I mentioned the beam knee. Here it is, beam knee. So it is a joining member and here the deck beam is there. And beam deck girder, transverse frame, center girders are there. And margin bracket and the floor. These are the basics of a transfer frame system and longitudinal frame system. This is the most popular frame system because it usually ship over 120 meter. Here, 100, 100 is wrong, it is 120 meter. Ship over 120 meter, this is commonly used, 
and it is easier to withstand longitudinal bending moments. So, and main stiffness are longitudinal, which run full length of the vessel to, from forward to aft parallel to keel. So, longitudinal flywheel system means most popular flywheel system used to ship above 120 meter, designed to withstand longitudinal bending moments. Main stiffness are longitudinal, which run full length of vessel from forward to aft parallel of the keel. These are L-shaped stiffener, stiffener, which fit under the deck and uh, top side of the plating on the bottom plating under tank, under tank top and on longitudinal bulkhead as well. In addition to the longitudinal deck are stiffened with deck ridges and deck trunches. Side plating is stiffened with vertical webster ridges. So here longitudinal bulkhead are known as L-shaped stiffness which fit under the deck and side plating on the bottom plating under tank top and on the longitudinal bulkhead as well. In addition to the longitudinal decks are stiffened with deck ridges and deck trunches. This side plating is stiffened with vertical webster and stringers also. And lateral framing, this is the diagram of a lateral framing. We can see side lateral and side girder and lateral bulkhead. And we can see this lateral bulkheads. This, this is from the forward uh, forward to the after the in a lateral laid to the keel. And bottom lateral, we can see deck lateral, bottom transverse, and transverse web. And compared framing, compared framing, we can say it is a, a mixer framing or hybrid framing, combination of both lateral and transverse framing. So, this is purely lateral frame, this is made of a purely lateral frame. So, it will be very strong in lateral direction and transverse frame has tremendous transverse strength. So, then this is very strong in lateral direction and very tremendous, tremendous transverse strength also. So, compared framing has advantage of both lateral and transverse. So, the compared means they have very strong strong in lateral direction and tremendous transverse strength in transverse, strength, transverse direction also. So, it has advantage of both lateral and transverse framing system. In this type of framing system, under the deck on bottom plate the vessel is longitudinally framed. So, in the bottom plating, the vessel is longitudinally framed and side plating is transversely framed. Okay, in the compound, under the bottom shape, it will be longitudinally framed, on the side shape, it will be transversely framed. This combination under under the bottom, there will be longitudinally framed and side it will be transversely framed in the compound framing system. So, thank you.